One big topic to another. I want to discuss Portland's ongoing problem with gun violence. The city has seen more than 870 shootings so far this year, a record number of homicides. And last week, the mayor and the police chief, they both spoke and outlined their new strategies for addressing this violence, including rehiring retired officers to fill staffing shortages and expanding the street response team to free up police from dealing with mental health calls. Well, over the weekend, another member of the city council added his voice to the conversation. Commissioner Mingus Maps wrote an op-ed for the Oregonian with four proposals to stop the record high shootings. First, he he thinks the police bureau needs more officers. He thinks that they should work to recruit new hires and do it now. And he didn't mention the mayor's plan to rehire retired officers. Maps also says something should be done to increase police morale and community trust in the force. He says the first step for doing that is to immediately put body cameras on officers. More on that part in just a minute. His third proposal is in line with the mayor's to expand the street response team. And lastly, Maps says Portland needs to recognize and address the gang problem fueling these shootings by working to stop retaliatory violence before it happens. But let's take a second and dig a little bit deeper on one of these points. See, Kyla Boshi has been following this discussion around body cameras on Portland police officers for years now, really. Kyle, answer this. Is Portland any closer to getting those body cams? Well, I say there does seem to be growing support at City Hall. Uh, we emailed city commissioners today to kind of get a sense on where everyone stands. And here's the breakdown. Obviously, Commissioner Maps, as you mentioned, he's supportive. Commissioner Carmen Rubio is too. She told me, quote, I support body cameras coupled with the robust accountability measures that make camera footage an effective tool toward transparency. So there's two who support body cams, along with Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler. In August, he told the police bureau to start researching equipment, get some bids and figure out if there's any federal grant money available. The other two commissioners, Joanne Hardesty and Dan Ryan, we're not sure about where they stand. Hardesty has changed her tone in recent months, though, before she was adamantly against them and questioned whether body cams were effective. Now, she appears to be warming up to the idea and thinks body cams should be part of the discussion as part of a settlement agreement with the U.S. Department of Justice over police use of force and training. As for Commissioner Ryan, we really don't know. He didn't get back to me by deadline. So it does sound like things are moving forward. But again, we've heard this sort of stuff before. As you've reported before, Portland is the largest police department in the country right now that doesn't have body cameras on its officers. Right. We, we've certainly seen this before. The city has explored police body cams for nearly a decade now, but those efforts stalled out because of a lack of money, politics, and other things. One factor to consider, though, the city is currently in contract negotiations with the Portland Police Association. And body cams are being discussed as part of union negotiations. The police union has long supported equipping officers with body-worn cameras, so we'll wait and see. Got it. Kyle, thank you.